just now leaving Kingman, Arizona, I believe. That's the one. Yeah, I think it's so bright. And I'm gonna go meet up with a buddy in Phoenix and hang out for a little bit and then hit the back road. It's a 22 hour drive. This is the night sky I get to see in Texas while I'm here. It's pretty beautiful. So I made it to Texas and uh, I drive about 10 hours the last couple days. Um, I'm gonna pass out here pretty soon. I got my bed all set up. I, uh, I got this cool light up here where my fingers at. That's a, uh, the bug zapper light, just in case mosquitoes get in right now. I don't know if this time of the year they're out or not. Um, I, uh, I'm pretty tired, but I'm gonna crash out here pretty soon. Just wanted to keep you guys updated and see what's going on. Catch you guys for another adventure. Just getting to this location at a rest stop and there's some fans that are out here and we're gonna go meet up with them and see what they're doing. Check out their camper. Hey, nice to meet ya! This has to fuel up. Yeah, I see that. I like the slip tank. Yeah, extra hundred gallons makes a difference. I got a 50 and I was gonna put it in the back, but uh, no room. Okay, so I met this amazing sweet couple. They have a dog rescue group. Um, you check out the channel, I'll link in the description. This is their YouTube channel and their business. Really cool. And they're gonna show me the fur babies. And we're gonna see what these guys. Oh my god. We got some Doberman. Hi puppies. Oh, come a second, yeah. sweetheart. Yeah. They rescued all these dogs. These guys are really great. You guys check out their channel. It's called Rockin' March. Did yeah. I say it? Rockin' M Ranch Animal Rescue. How cool. Oh, the babies. Cool. And what was your name again? Marianne Parker. There you have it. Marianne Parker with Rockin' M Ranch. Check it out, guys. All right, we're going to see these guys off. This is their rig right here. Check it out. How cool. A sweet camper, yeah. What a great, great couple. They've been doing it for a while. Um, it's really cool to see people like that who see the truck and want to say hi. They are uh, they're doing something special out there, rescuing all those little puppies. Man, those dogs are so sweet. How cool. Don't forget to check out the channel, everybody. We caught up to them one more time. We'll say our farewells here in a moment and uh, we're gonna go try and find somewhere to sleep <laughs> so cool so um, I saw a lady in the grass uh, on the side of the interstate and I pulled over to see if they need help so people are running over and I get out and the lady's drunk she's day drunk running around the interstate 
and she's out there puking. Here, check this out. Let's see if we can read in the mirror. That's her in the red. Well, I don't know what you Texans out here be doing in the day, but uh, pretty funny. Good luck with that. So I'm in my back right now. Um, gonna make a sandwich. Check it out. Here's my sandwich stuff. Some pickles. This is my big fridge. Uh, I bought that for a few, a few hundred bucks in the oil field a while back. Um, I like my little setup. Something fancy. The fridge can be either DC or AC. I have hooked up to an inverter in the passenger seat. It's a thousand watt inverter. Um, and it works great, honestly. I've never had a problem with it. I think it gets a little loose though because there's like bolts and nuts that hold a lot of stuff together instead of rubber gaskets and stuff like that for vibrations, which I think the company should look into, but whatever. Um, other than that, I mean, it, it's been great. It is a freezer fridge. It's not just a cooler. Um, and it's working great. The murder's up there. It's currently off because I don't need it on. It lasts a long time. Um, everything stays cold for at least 24 hours before I turn it back on. So I leave it on while I'm driving. I obviously turn it off when I'm on or drain the battery. But um, that's my food. That's my power. I've got cases of water. Um, I'm gonna catch up on my work, eat a sandwich, and head out to Houston in the morning. I'm getting my first claims, and I'll show you guys it. Let's get out there. Okay, so um, I've been trying to get back to work for the last couple hours. This is something that I kind of do. This is a map of all the locations I have to go to. Um, that's a fraction of what I have to do to contact each person, go inspect the site assess the damage and send off my reports. That's what I do. I've been doing that for the last three hours, calling people and stuff and leaving the voicemails and giving them the whole bit. And uh, um, tomorrow I'll be heading out to my first sites and I'll let you guys see what I do. And I will continue to work until they're sick of me. All I'm doing now is um, checking my gear, my tool belt, make sure I got tape measures, make sure I got my um, dimensions, it tells you the height and any dimension you need with under 40 feet, it's pretty, nice. it's pretty nice, really handy, um, that's good, make sure we got some chalk, Use chalk to use for damages on roofs, hail damage, wind damage, uh, markings, just whatever you need to. Make sure you have a pitch gauge. Tells you your pitch. Um, most companies, if you're over a certain amount of pitch, they'll pay you a little more because um, it's dangerous. But I don't think this is the case. This crap looks like we got all of that. Let's see. Child's chalk. Always want to use some children's chalk. Whatever. Any type of chalk you can find, really. I'll use that for marking up all the roofs. Okay. I think we got everything we need for tomorrow. Make sure you have the right clothes. Make sure you look proper. Be professional. Don't curse, always ask. I got the uh, fancy light. I um, put a adhesive strip in there with some Gorilla Glue on the strip only. So if I need, it, it's batteries, but man, these things last forever. This has been here for already three months. I've never had a problem. It's never damned anything. Just some simple LEDs. They're really nice. They're at Walmart. They're worth a couple bucks. Um, 
I got my clothes up there in the dark that you can't see. Uh, I got my workout bands right here, which I will be working out every night. Got to stay in shape because it's mostly computer work, so you just kind of sit there and get fat. I don't want to do that. And I'll be going back to my diet, eating only two times a day, sometimes one, and a lot of water. See you guys in the morning. In the middle of nowhere, somewhere in Texas, driving through all this stuff. Uh, well, my I just did my first claim. I couldn't take you guys through because I need my phone, but um, I'll try and get you guys next time. So it's currently storming pretty bad. I don't know if you can see that or not. The truck's gone crazy. Um, it's just chaos out there. And to no surprise, trying to sleep. Um, we have a lot of water getting in to the bottoms with the wind. And over here, water is coming out of this hole, dripping down right here and dripping onto the bed. All this is wet, wet spots. So, uh, I'm just gonna sleep in the wet stuff. It's gonna suck. I'll fix it someday, but I can't fix it right now. There wasn't supposed to be any storms. I checked the weather, but it's a freak of nature's Texas weather. It just appears storms, hurricanes. Tsunamis, whatever. Oh well. Like flies to shit. As soon as I start eating my sandwich, birds everywhere. Um, where I'm at is called Galveston, Texas. And it was, uh, I had a claim probably 10 miles from here. So I just went to Google Maps and Noticed all these cool areas. These big old ships are moving right now. Check that out. That's pretty cool. But um, here, I'll give you guys an overhead view on what's about to happen when I start eating again. Oh. Let's see if we can get one to catch it. Oh, he caught it! <laughs> oh, it's so close! All right, the big one. All right, let's see if we can get a better angle. Ready? Ready? Ah, oh, so cool! <laughs> They're catching it in the mouth, not their feet. Monsters, all of them. I'll uh, keep you guys informed. Let's go take a look at the beach. Let's see what we got out there. Here's the beach. Uh, this is uh, pretty cool. It's pretty much the end of the United States over here in Texas. I'm on an island. Now you have to take uh, a bridge to, of course, but it's a long drive.
There's a weird concrete path, probably a water breaker of some sort, but it goes out for hundreds of feet. There's people way up there. It's pretty high off the sea floor, but um, probably gonna get a little wet. But it's so neat. Oh, it's slippery as fuck. Jesus Christ. Hope I don't fall. Not allowed to fall. So cool. Check. This dead fish looks like it got a bite taken out of it. And it's it's pretty big. Um, it looks kind of fresh, but not really. The eyeballs are, you can see the dirt through them, so I'm not sure, but it's pretty wild looking. I don't know even know what kind of fish this is. Pretty cool. So I've been walking for a while and uh, just following this beach as far as it'll go and finally to a point where there's no one around me and except for those big beasties out there those giant tankers little blue tugboat from the looks of it right there but uh it's so nice out here the temperature is perfect the waves are just kind of miniature over here because of that giant water breaker back there Man, this is so nice. There's that city way over there. I don't know if you guys see that. I'm having a blast. Stressing about work. And... I just want to say... Thank you to my old lady, Marcella. And to all my friends and viewers out there so I get back to my truck and I see this car that's stuck in and I look around and all these people just got out of their vehicles four by four young stupid kids nobody wants to help them so the good person I am I'm gonna go over there and pull them out real quick see what happens all right so we're gonna grab this guy right here hey you're gonna smile camera. Hey, we're gonna pull this dude out real quick. <laughs> so funny. Oh, dang. We'll see what happens. Oh, this little baby Prius. We got it looped around that little guy right there. I'll take this end. Go underneath. Just throw it right over that. All right, you ready? Just, uh, when I start going, put it in drive and uh, just slowly push on the gas until we're clear. All right. All right, we're gonna see what happens right now. I got it in four. <laughs> oh God, this guy. Yeah, we got him. Okay. Okay. Let's see what we got. Let's see if we fuck up his bumper or not. All right. Pull this off. All right. So, uh, okay. Okay. You all right? Yeah, yeah. Nomadic. Dreams. YouTube. Right there. There I am. Let's see real quick. Let that load up. All right, man. right there, hey, bro. Man, I appreciate that, man. Hey, no problem. Let me grab this strap off real quick. All right. Man, All right. Oh, man. This guy's falling. Okay. Look how difficult that shit got tight. God damn it. This is 
so hard to do with one hand. Alright. Cool. Man, if it was two hands, that'd be easy. I gotta show something on here with the camera. All right, brother, you clear. All right, man. All right, guys. Um, that is another video with Nomadic Dreams. Um, we helped some people out. We uh, got to meet some fans. Pretty cool. We've had a crazy adventure out here in Texas. It's uh, it's pretty unique out here. But uh, I just want to thank everybody who's out there watching and enjoying the content don't forget to subscribe thumbs up keep the content going keep the channel going love you guys be safe out there see you next time episode five coming soon